Hey there, and welcome to your week ahead astrology guide for the week starting Monday, July 8th. Here you'll find insight and guidance as well as tips on timing your life with astrology. So this is another full week. So many weeks in July are just jam-packed. This is the week between eclipses. So we had our big new moon eclipse last week, and it'll be the middle of next week that we'll have the full moon eclipse. But this week, we do see the sun making some significant aspects, and that Cancer Capricorn axis will continue to be highlighted. And there'll be this feeling, I think, of being pulled in different directions at the same time. So there is still a quality of kind of pressure or that feeling of like not having enough time. The sun will move over the north node. That's going to happen on Tuesday, July 9th. It'll be Wednesday, July 10th if you're in Australia. That highlights the middle point of the eclipse season. And so we're halfway through eclipse season for the middle part of 2019. But to kick us off, there's a couple of very powerful and totally different aspects, both happening at the same time on Monday, July 7th. One aspect I really like, and one I think we have to be a little bit careful around. So the one aspect that we need a little bit of caution around will be Mercury retrograde in Leo, conjunct Mars also in Leo. That's happening around four degrees of Leo, and you'll feel that most strongly on Monday, July 8th, and that'll be Tuesday, July 9th, if you're in Australia. So Mercury conjunct Mars, this can be a combination that highlights sharp insights, uh, direct, clear communication, but Mercury is retrograde, and so there is a feeling of frustration here that you want to say things or you want to take action or you want to make things happen, but you're kind of stuck or you're stalled and things are delayed more than you might like. So there's a little bit of caution here. Mercury Mars can be a little bit about foot in mouth disease where you say things prematurely or you blurt things out without realizing. Sometimes when we blurt things out, we're actually being very honest. We're speaking directly from the heart. And that can be a great thing, even if in the moment it creates a little bit of tension or discord. So a little bit of caution there. Mercury conjunct Mars is quite determined. So there's a bit of a stubborn quality here. Leo is one of our fixed signs. And so you might find you get really focused on a particular idea or a particular way things are meant to go. And then you run into some opposition or some uh, road bumps, if you like. So a little bit of friction, a little bit of tension, a little bit of that kind of things bursting out or outburst type energy. So a little caution on Monday. I think some of us are going to feel like, oh, I just need to decide and do. And that's not always a bad thing, but because Mercury has just stationed retrograde, Mercury is still technically in station. We can't even quite call him retrograde yet because he's still sitting at the degree at which he starts his retrograde. And so you might want to power forward, but there are documents or details or things that need to be organized first. So I think Mercury Mars is a great reminder to check the fine print to make sure that you've dotted the I's and crossed the T's and also to make sure that any documents you've been trying to prepare or submit are actually done as well as they should be. Um, so double check, double check, double check. It's a little bit more of an, like an aggravated Mercury retrograde quality, if you like. Any decisions you do make now, that's great. I always think making decisions is fantastic. It helps reduce our anxiety. But if you make a decision now, there may be paperwork that takes two to four weeks that is required to help support that decision. So just be aware of that. 